Hi guys, so following on from some of my videos on the Fair G3 Ultra handheld gimbal, um, I've noticed that Fairtech have introduced a nice new feature which allows you to change some of the settings on the gimbal itself. Um, this is perfect for people who have experienced problems with the IMU where there is a slight problem with the roll or the pitch from stock. Um, basically what this new software allows you to do is kind of fine-tune those little existing problems out so that you've got a perfectly straight horizon and that your camera is completely upright in its pitch. Um, so what you need to do to have a play around with this, you need to get yourself over to the fairtech.com website, um, go to the handheld page and go to the download section. As you can see here we've got the various sections here. Um, now don't confuse this with the, uh, the firmware upgrade software, the one we want is the new gimbal setting software download. Uh, two versions, first one appeared in September, the uh, second one is fairly recent in October. So what you want to do is download that, I'm not going to go through the way that you do that, click on it, it's a zip file, unzip it, find out where you've zipped it, um, and that will lead you to something like this where we've got our settings. So you've got an exe file here, there's also a manual, so by all means have a read of it, but this video hopefully will mean you don't have to. So all you need to do is, before you start anything, you want to get yourself the gimbal. Now what I've done is I've actually clamped it to the table here, um, so it's nice and up, uh, upright. You can do it by just placing it on the table, but you, you basically, you're going to be using this with the motors activated. So you need to make sure you can at least put it in a straight and firm position. So first thing, get yourself the USB connector and plug it into the front USB port on the gimbal. And as you can see, when you do that, right, you probably can't see that, but the blue light flashes on and is on steady. Okay, so now get yourself to the software. Open up the Gimbal Setting V1.1.exe, as is current for this video. And we'll shrink that down so you can see what we're doing here. Okay, so very similar to the firmware upgrade. First thing you want to do is you want to choose your COM port. I know for a fact that mine is on COM port 7. If you don't know what COM port it is, have a look at my firmware upgrade video. That will tell you how to find your COM port. Um, so the next thing you need to do is you open the COM port and you'll get a little message saying please keep the gimbal stable and power on the gimbal. So we click OK on that. And then I'm just going to lift it slightly. Click the button. And there you go, down the bottom you see Connect FY Gimbal Success and any second now, boom, it now has read the parameters. So basically what it's done is it's connected to the software, it's read the existing parameters and now you're in a position where you can do some fine tuning. So when we click the start button it's going to actually activate the motors. So as you can see if I click start now, boom, immediately the gimbal kicks into life and it is now in its kind of fixed mode, its fixed heading. So the way that I've set this camera up is so hopefully you can see at the moment that this corner is much higher than this corner. Now this is actually the settings that came on my existing gimbal. This is exactly how it was out of the box and it meant that the horizon was slightly off. Um, you can't see it on this video but take my word for it that the, uh, the camera is also slightly pitched forward so there's a slight angle on it. So what I'm going to show you is how you correct the roll to begin with. Um, nothing particularly rocket science, you can see there are two sections, there's roll, there's pitch, there's a plus and a minus button for each, there's a save button. So all we need to do is we need to find out which way we want it to go. Now I know for a fact that as you're staring at the back of the camera if you use the minus button that is going to push the left hand edge, so this edge here it's going to push it down, which is what we want. So all you do is you start clicking on it, and if you're looking, it's a very subtle adjustment. But now I've put that down to zero, and you can see at the moment it's better, but it's by no means perfect. So I'm going to continue going into the minus figures. Certainly getting a bit better. About, about there looks pretty much right to me. So minus 37 on that. So 
as simple as that basically so all you're doing is very very minor adjustments to make sure that you've got a nice level horizon and um, what I'm going to do is just unclamp it and make sure that it is absolutely firmly on the desk and yep I'm happy with that so I'll just clamp it so it don't fall over and I will hit save and what that does is that locks that setting into your gimbal so next time you turn it on it will remember that that is where it has to be when it starts up it means you get a nice level horizon um, same for the pitch um, I would show it to you but it's a bit difficult to do in the setting because unfortunately no matter what I do if I move it around it always stays in this forward direction um, but yeah just play around with the pitch I've actually set mine to 100 and that's got it pretty much like a flat face um, if you wanted to pitch it down slightly for automatic purposes you could do that the other setting that you've got on the bottom here is the heading follow mode so that is basically mode one if you want to you can actually set it to slow down or even speed up um, I personally leave it on normal have a play around with it decide whether you want a slower pan in which case put it on slow if you want a faster pan put it on faster once you're all done obviously with that one you just click save you'll see there's a jerk from the camera every time you click on that one let me just do that again so boom it has a little twitch okay so we're all happy with that so all we now need to do is click stop and you'll see the camera will go limp boom so now we're back into normal mode and then you just have to close the com port after that you can unplug the gimbal and you can turn it off at the bottom and then what I'll do is I'll turn it back on so this is completely detached from the computer let it initialize and there we go as you can see we've got a nice straight horizon and now I'm in this mode I can pull it around and you can see that the front face of this is pretty much where it needs to be maybe a 0.5 of a degree pitching upwards slightly but anyway but I can tweak that out I can change it if need to be so yeah that's the um, that's the basics of it it's nice and simple it's a really good thing to uh, to do I would recommend anyone who gets the gimbal first and foremost get it onto version 1.13 at least of the firmware don't leave it in the stock firmware and also do this and change the settings make sure that you've got it in a default setting that is in a straight horizon and obviously the pitch is as you want it after that it becomes a really nice little gimbal to use and don't forget it can be used on the Hero 4 as well as it fits perfectly.